This is AW Pixotic and today we are talking YouTube studio lighting and how to get your footage from looking like this to this. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, consider subscribing, consider, you know, liking the video and leaving in the comment section whatever your thoughts are about this video. Today we are talking about YouTube lights and how to set up your YouTube studio in a manner that the lighting thing that you've got here impresses the people out there. I basically use a four light setup and adjust it in a manner to give me this cinematic and cool looking feel to my studio. In the four lighting setup, the number one, I have my key light, which is right here placed on a 45 degree angle from me. It's throwing this nice soft light on the right side of my face, where the left side is a little dark to add that dramatic look. First comes the key light and the key light that I'm using is the NK light. It's made in China. It has a 32 watt power. It's battery operated and cheap, available in the market at a very cheap rate. Has about 416 LEDs which work together to give this, you know, amazing light that's hitting the right side of my face. Gives about 4000 lumens of light which is enough to light up my face and parts of my body. It has a bicolor arrangement and has a range from 3200Ks to 5600Ks which is amazing. Now I place this light at a 45 degree angle from my face to give me that dramatic look. Falls on my face on one side on the right side and creates these you know, nice looking dramatic shadows on the other. This is the key light for you guys. The light stand that I use with this key light that I have over here is the Apkena WT220. It's a very versatile and sturdy light stand. It allows me to place the light on it as well as the Godox softbox, which is right here. It's 60 by 60 and is double diffused. By double diffusion, I mean it has two diffusion layers to diffuse that light and you know allow that soft light to hit my face. Uh, if you are not using diffusers, uh, it gives that very harsh look on your face with very harsh shadows created on your face or whatever you're trying to light. With the diffuser and placing the light closer to the subject, the subject in this case is me, you get that nice, you know, soft feel to it, which is pleasing to the eye. Now to create a little depth, you can see behind me, uh, right behind this uh, television, I have an RGB light that's wrapped around its back. It's known as the Yi light by Xiaomi. Uh, it's a full RGB light, which is controlled through through the smartphone he light app it allows me to create that you know depth effect inside the small studio space that I have over here and gives an elegant look to the studio space that I'm work on or that I'm working on it's a beautiful light all the colors are RGB and can be operated through the app this light is also very cheap but came around 50 US dollars not that heavy on the pocket at all See this? This is a practical light that I'm using. It's a lamp by Xiaomi. You know, practicals add, you know, that interest to the scene or uh, put value to the scene that you are trying to create through uh, inside your video. Now, for my practical light, I'm using a lamp by Xiaomi. It cost me around 50 to 60 US dollars, which is not very heavy on the pocket. It's a beautiful lamp that I have colored white with a nice ambient light that I can control. It's bicolor and has a certain temperature range with all its controls being can be simply controlled through the Yi light app that's available inside smartphone that is Android or your Apple iPhone. I use a practical light to you know when I'm working on uh, this space right here behind you I need a light to work on so that I can see the keyboard what I'm tapping on I can see the mouse and I can see the space around me lit up in a manner so that I can work professionally and you know easily I use this light as a dual purpose light uh, one is to help me get my work done and the other is to light the video in a way so that it adds that natural you know look to my videos that there is something practical also going on the next tiny light that I'm going to talk about is the Aperture MC RGB WW light that I purchased for myself. It's an amazing light. It's totally controlled through your, you know, smartphone through the Sidus Link app. It has, you know, the bicolor function in which you can adjust the color range. It is a very accurate light. It also has the RGB mode. You can use it in different and interesting situations to, you know, light up your videos. I generally use this light at times behind me uh, to contrast or to neutralize the light, the red light effect that you can see 
see that's coming from the e-light i use a blue hue on this so that you know it gives that interesting red and blue look to my videos or at times i use this light in the simple bicolor mode at 5600 k's and place it on the left side of my face to light up you know the darker portion of my face because this key light is placed in an angle of 45 degrees and it creates those shadows which need to be neutralized somehow so i at times use this light to you know lighten up the left side of my face so i have this aperture mc rgb ww light with me right now it cost me around 100 us dollars around 16 to 18 thousand pakistani rupees and i don't know what the cost would be in india this is the aperture mc rgb ww light that i use my whole four light YouTube lighting setup which includes the NK key light, the RGB WW, uh, MC WW light, the practical lamp, the E light, RGB uh, strip which is right behind uh, my LED. This whole setup uh, cost me less than 300 US dollars. It's not a very expensive setup in which you know professional YouTubers or filmmakers use lights that the, the key light where the key light alone costs more than 500 or 600 US dollars. My whole setup is under 300 US dollars and it's perfect for a beginner perfect for a newbie or a person who's just starting out so I'm still uh, you know experimenting with the different light setups I have plans to purchase something a little bigger something a little more professional for my key light planning to go for the Godox lighting system or the aperture lighting system with a larger dome and a larger diffuser do let me know in the comment section I would love to hear from you which lighting setup should I buy for myself to light up the YouTube studio I'll be replacing this key light very very soon so if you guys are new to the channel do leave a like do subscribe and turn on those bell notification icons if you haven't done so already that is going to help a lot I'll be coming up with a lot of new videos with a lot of new drone videos with a lot of new product videos I have a few vlogs coming up so stay tuned to the channel uh, we have crossed the hallmark of 200 subscribers and this channel is rising I guess we'll create something out of it we'll create a nice you know community out of it and grow hope you enjoyed hope you liked this uh, small video about my youtube lighting setup and hope this helps you decide and choose what lights to buy for your video setup this is aw pixorega signing off for now see you in another video really really soon bye bye